Do you want to improve at a quicker pace? Check out the Git Good course. Instead of just understanding concepts, you'll learn how to implement them directly into your driving. What makes it effective is the approach and practical drills. Together, we're gonna focus on breaking down those complex concepts into small digestible bits that are simple to understand. Everything from the course was tested and refined during the years in coaching sessions, so what I ended up with was the ones that I saw were the most effective. Let's elevate your racing skills together. Now for the track guide. Before starting, if you enjoyed this content, giving it a like and a subscribe is a free way to support the channel as I can create more content like this and put it on YouTube. Now going on to the track guide itself, for turn 1 my reference for braking is this white line around the left side of the black tarmac. So right now this white line, I want to brake slightly past it, so at this point in time I'm applying the brakes and I want to use a bit of the left part of this curb while braking and positioning for turn 1. So my left tires will be on this curb, but don't go all the way to the left part of the curb because it's gonna be a bit sluggish whenever you will turn into the corner, even though you will make the radius a bit bigger, the fact that you're going over this curb and this curb has a height and the tire will go up and down will make the braking a bit less inefficient, but also the turning in. So you can either not use it at all or barely use it. This is what I'm doing right now, just barely, barely using it. And in terms of turning for this corner, you want to go around it like this. You can cut the inside curve a bit, but if you will stay on it too much, you will lose time. So what I'm using is I'm going and I'm apexing around the white line like this, barely kissing the curb. Now putting the power down whenever you're going downhill. So at this point in time, whenever the compression kicks in, because you have a lot of grip whenever the track is going downwards like this, then you're gonna hit the throttle at this point in time and then you're gonna build it up because you can be all the way on the left almost. If you're not touching the curb, it's gonna be fine. So you can be in this position and still have time to reposition for the next corner because right now we, we just go flat up until this is gonna depend this is mostly done on field but if you want a visual reference my reference will be this exit road on the left side this is a bit of a grayish on the left side this line around here so after that line i'm dropping the throttle like this and i'm applying a bit of the brakes then i'm pushing the throttle again and i'm going over this curve my idea here is to go into the shortest line possible between this part of the track and this part right here so if you will go like a snake and if you will break too much if you will stay all the way on the right part of the track and then go all the way to the left part here you will mostly go like a snake in s's you will travel a longer distance so my goal is to shoot the car deep into these corners, almost in a straight line. I, I'm imagining that I want to arrive in a straight line from these two points, from here to here. Obviously, it's not going to be a perfect straight line, but if you have this in mind, then you will focus on steering less and covering less track, less distance. So I'm using this curve to shorten up my distance through the next corner, so I'm going over it like this. And I'm playing with the throttle to make sure that I'm staying between the track limits because I don't want to end up all the way on this curb. Then that entry will be very shallow into the next corner. So I want on the exit of the previous corner to arrive into this position here where I can stay on throttle like this and brake while going downhill. Because it's not a heavy braking zone, you can get away with braking on this curb. Otherwise, you would have avoided it but because you are not breaking that hard it's 42 percentages you can break on it and my goal here is to push the car deep into the corner so then i can pick it back up with a throttle like this so i would recommend here to play a bit with the lines there are multiple lines that can get you similar results my line around here is shorten up the distance shoot the car deep, carry the minimum speed, and then here going deep like this. 
You can find another line around here where if you are positioned more towards the left side and on this part, you will stay more tighter around this part of the curve. But if you go all the way to the right, then you have to take the wider line like this. Just push the car more towards the center of the track. And then while trail braking and then putting the power down, you will slowly go towards the right side. And in the end, in the exit, you want to arrive here all the way to the left hand side part of the track so that you can push the car you can push the car now more towards the right side so whenever you will see this curb you're aiming at it so my vision right now is that this kink in the curb i want to cut it like this with the tire and now i'm pushing the car again to the outside to use all the track and whenever i'm arriving at the curb i'm pressing the brakes i'm pressing the brakes and soft braking but trailing a lot so still trailing still on the brakes and now pushing the throttle so that I can cut this curb again. So it's mostly like a double apex corner in which you have the first apex around here. That's the first apex going deeper. That's the second apex cutting it and using all the track on the exit. That's basically it. So you have just to look on those curves and aim to put the car whenever that kink in the curb starts to appear. Now this corner is going to be flat small lift here as you can see but almost flat small small lift so i can make sure i'm not getting the off track for the next corner my reference for braking will be just before the bridge or the white line i'm looking at the white line and i want to brake before it i'm gonna stay in fourth gear while still trailing so it's a longer trail braking than you think notice that i'm still on the brakes right now you want to cut this curb as much as you can like this and then put the throttle and the power down you're gonna use all the track and now for the next corner, ignore this curb. Don't steer left at this point because the next corner comes up very quickly and you won't have enough time to reposition. So we will sacrifice this corner by going on the longer distance. We will stay on the right side like this. Just a small lift to make sure I'm managing the speed. And this section is all about managing the speed and the track. So you will do corrections with the throttle, not with the brake but with a throttle to make sure that you stay in the track limits. I want to be all the way on the right here with the tires on this curve. So whenever I'm turning into this corner, I'm turning it flat, but immediately I'm doing a small lift. So in first I turn flat with 100% throttle, then a small lift when turning. We put some weight on the front tires just to make sure that we'll have enough front grip to bite. We'll cut this curve and again, you see this lift and then arriving again on the right hand side using all the track you i think this is close to the limit because you will be more on the right with the left tires past the white line you will get the off track and now for this corner right here this is going to be flat from this position and using all the track like this so if you notice here in the throttle trace a lot of small corrections around there just to make sure you're staying in the track limits but first of all you have to know that you don't have to break you have to use all the track and you have to apex late you have to apex deep and do the corrections with the throttle that's going to be the summary of the sector now for this corner right here breaking point kind of in the let's say whenever you see that the curb ends it's mostly in the middle slightly past the middle of the curb you're going to apply the brakes you're going to break in a straight line initially then you're going to bleed the brakes and turn more and more in third gear super important to apex late notice how late this apex is so don't turn too early into the corner turn later than you think because you won't have enough space right here so if you will turn early you will run out of track and for the last corner my reference for braking will be this white line around here i'm braking before the white line and in second gear again late apex you want to apex mostly towards the end of this curve not in the beginning but towards the end put the power down in second gear you can even use a bit more of the track than what i'm doing right now but in short that's a track guide on this week with the ferrari i hope you have a nice week ahead and if you want to accelerate your progress check out the get good racing course it's a lot of value in it and i think anyone will shave some seconds of lap time if you're doing the drills and the technical parts of the course thank you for watching again and see you on the next one bye bye